Okay, signing up a spouse as a coach. Um, depending on which coach you talk to, they'll probably say, hey, if you want to be an Emerald coach, if you're serious about your business, you'll sign your spouse up and another family member right away. I kind of take a more conservative approach than a lot of people just because um, I understand that signing up a, um, a spouse as a coach is another financial obligation. Hold on, put that. I love you too. Okay, go to bed. Love you. Um, and I actually was, go baby. I was actually a coach for, um, okay, hold on. Hurry, baby. Oh, you're giving the dog hug. I was actually a coach for um, over two years before I signed my spouse up. Granted, like the first 20 months, I was a hot mess anyways. Um, so the main thing is, is to sign up a spouse as a coach, you, um, it's best to know what your goal is as a, as a coach. I've had coaches who sign up their spouse right away, and then they don't have any other coaches, so it doesn't really benefit them, and then they have two coach accounts that they're paying for, because of course you have to pay coach fees on both shoes right here. Um, so if it's something that you are super serious about building your business, and making an income, and being a business builder coach, having your spouse as a coach is definitely beneficial. So let me tell you a little bit about my story. Okay, go baby. Of course, I was a coach for a long time, I didn't have my spouse signed up as a coach. Um, bye. bye, baby. My goal was to get to Diamond, which if you don't know, a Diamond is a coach that has eight coaches, and two of which are emeralds, so four on each leg. No, baby, go. Sorry. Uh, and so signing a spouse up as a coach is a way that you can control one of your emerald coaches. So I was, I had Kendalyn, who you saw on the call earlier. She was um, one of my Emerald coaches on my weak leg. And so my house, I signed him up on my strong leg. And then I was able to then add coaches to his account to build him to Emerald so that I could be um, a diamond coach. So I did that. Um, I signed him up in December. I became an Emerald coach at the very end of January. Um, and so it was a way that I knew that I could keep Emerald, I mean, keep Diamond because I had control of his account and I knew Kendallin was a strong Diamond coach. And Kendallin went Diamond, so that put me to one star Diamond. And then I had another coach since he was on the opposite leg. I was able to build his account to Diamond. Now, my husband didn't do anything at all. So he, I, it was basically just another coach account that I controlled. So I put customers through it. If I hit Success Club in my business, I would then hit Success. If I had extra people, I would take those people and hit them in his business as well because it helps me for a variety of reasons. It helped me with Elite Points, which is something for Diamond. It helped um, get his. It helped me get Shakeology leads in my account and his account. So there was many benefits to doing it. It's definitely something that if you're serious about this business, I'd say, hey, go ahead and do it because it's um, an account that you can always control, help you get to Diamond, Star Diamond, all that kind of stuff. But just know to do it, you will have the financial obligation of paying for two coach counts, two coach fees, and you want to keep him active. So that would be to be an active coach, you either need to put um, – 50 PV, which is an order once a month through his account, or have him be on Shakeology or something else to keep that coach account active. Because if he's not active, it's not going to benefit your main coach account at all. Does that make sense? Does anybody have any questions about signing up a spouse? I feel like everybody's... Go ahead, Kelly. Um, I guess, and this might be totally dumb, but... Um, so I was thinking about in January we can start earning um, like our success club points go towards earning like the free trip. So if I'm <clears throat> building his account with success club points, do I, can I just put like the minimum five or six in his account and then try to build mine up because I want as many success club points as possible to go towards the trip, right? Right. Okay. So for me, um, I, so here's my story, and you might have seen it when I posted in the group earlier. So I signed my husband up last December. I quickly built him to Emerald so I could go to Diamond. Um, 
Then I was in a training group that was offered by a bunch of coaches where you put in $10 for a training. No, it was $20 for a training. There was like a hundred or there's tons of coaches in the training. Whoever built an account to diamond in like a six week period got to like split this pot of money. You could do it in your account or your spouse's account. Well, I was already a diamond in my account. So I decided, well, Hey, what the heck I'll go ahead and push for it in his account. And if I get it, then I could earn this pot of money. So I committed to getting his account to diamond so I could earn that pot of money and I did it. Um, but I quickly, I built his account with a bunch of discount coaches. Of course I had Kristen. I'm sure you've seen her um, in the team page. She had told me she was going to be a discount coach. So I put her there in his account. I was working my account and his account at the same time. I built him up to diamond. I held for the two star bonus to become a two star diamond coach. And then slowly his coaches, because a lot of them were just discount coaches, they started to drop like flies. And I had a hard time maintaining him at the diamond level. And I was really focusing on, of course, since I was a two-star, I got to open up a second business center. This is all stuff that's way above your guys' heads. I don't want to confuse you too much. So I was focusing on building there because it helped with my income more. So I ended up canceling his coach account. All of his coaches rolled up to me, the ones that were still active. And then I um, actually didn't just sign him back up this last month. So um, and there are definitely some benefits, but if you – if you are a coach with no coach potentials, I, I would wait until you have somebody else that you know that can coach with you. So you have a friend, if you're pushing for Emerald, if you have somebody that you know that's ready to coach, a discount coach, great. And then if you need one more to get you to Emerald, a spouse is a perfect, perfect option. But um, I think that if you sign up your spouse and then you have nobody for a couple weeks, a month, two months. I mean, I have a girl who signed up her spouse in February and she doesn't have another coach. So it's been her and her spouse for a really long time. Granted, she's not really working her business. So it really just depends on each person's goal. Um, and placement is something else that I, if you decide, if you say, hey, Ashley, I want to sign up my spouse, send me a message because placement is really important. And um, there's ways that... Um, benefit you the most that will benefit you for your um, income and that kind of stuff so that's something to consider too so it really just depends on what your goal is for this business if you, it's something that you want to take on if you're um, I don't know um, Kristen my other diamond coach she um, got to diamond because she had an emerald and she, she had signed up her spouse and she built her spouse to to um, emerald as well so that's why she got to diamond so there's definitely ways having a spouse's account can help you with rank advancement does anybody else have any questions about it how it works can i ask another question mm -hmm. um so if you have enough people where you don't feel like like if you have potential to have emeralds on both sides then would you not recommend signing up your spouse? Because I remember I watched something yesterday. I think it's the guy Danny was talking about. Um, and he said it's better to sign him up right in the beginning because you get more financial benefit for it later. So I just, I kind of feel like I'm at that crossroad where, I mean, I don't know that I need him, but if it's going to benefit me in the long run to have him up higher, then I kind of want to do it now. You know what I mean? I definitely agree with you. And that was one of those things that was, um, was hard for me. I waited a while to sign him up. So basically, so, um, I'm going to draw a really crude document. So, so to explain, you know, why the benefit is of signing them up now as opposed to later. So Kelly, here you are right here at the top and you're, one of these is your strong leg and one of these is your weak leg. So we'll say this is your strong leg and this is your weak leg, as you continue to add coaches, you know, here you are, here you are, you're adding these coaches, and those coaches are adding coaches as well. If your spouse is signed up higher up here, he's going to benefit from the volume of all these people who sign up. Now, does that mean that if you sign him up down here that he won't get any volume? No, he'll still get volume. He's just going to get less volume. But I will say that you have a pretty good strong leg because my second business center is underneath it. Um, so you're getting good volume. So even if you wait a little bit to put them down here, I don't think it's going to, at this point, be a detriment to you. I don't think that you're going to like 
if you don't do it now, you're never going to get volume because I think there's always going to be volume there. Okay. But it's definitely something to consider if that's what you're, we should, we can talk about it more one-on-one -on -one to see okay. what, what's the best thing for you. Okay. Thanks. Anybody else have any questions? Amy. Can I just ask the name that the guy that Danny and Kelly were just talking about again? I missed that from before the one, I think it was like a YouTube. Okay. There's a, um, are you talking about, um, Caleb, Caleb Thomas is his name and you can follow him on Facebook. Um, he doesn't have a like page. He has just, he uses his personal page, but it's pu public. Um, he can't accept any friends anymore because he's got too many Facebook friends, but you can follow him. But he is a coach. He posts a lot of videos. You can follow his YouTube channel. His videos are really, really amazing. I think he's like a one-star diamond coach, and he just has a really good gift for making training videos and sharing stuff. What's that, Danny? It was actually Scotty Hobbs, I think. Are you talking about the video that was Go Diamond in Seven Days? Yes, no. Yes. Are you are you talking to Kelly, the one that the guy was Miguel and it, he had that graphic? It was a video that Scotty Hobbs had posted, but the guy's coach name, his name was actually Miguel. Okay. Yeah. And I think that post is in the Team Chaos page. It's Go Diamond in Seven Days. Um, that is a good place to start um, where he talked to like 200 people in one week or something to get to Diamond. Um, but yeah, there's definitely pros and cons. I don't want to be that person that's like, you better sign up your spouse right now or you're not going to have success. Because I had success and I waited almost over two years before I signed up my spouse and I still made it work. He still got volume. He never ran out of volume. Like I wasn't like struggling from where I placed him. So it really is just depending upon your goals, what you're trying to push for. You know, like Kelly, if you, if you had an emerald right now and that was re there and ready and you wanted to hit diamond, you could easily sign him up and find two coaches and have that to control. So it just, it depends on where you're at. It's not a requirement. There are coaches who completely coach without having a spouse. It just, there, it just depends. So anybody else have questions about it? Nope. Okay. Well, I will let you guys go since it's so late, but Kelly, if you want to, Talk more about placement and if it's the right fit just send me a message and we can talk about it a little bit more sound good okay thanks for hopping on this call really quick everybody get sleep bye Thanks.